This has been the craziest year for us by far. Could you imagine this thing cruise out Desert Ghost? Desert Ghost hypo version of this. That's gonna be some next level stuff right there. I turned down $70,000 for this one right here. What's up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone had a great uh, New Year's and a great Christmas. I know I said that already. I hope everyone has a great start to 2022. Cause I'm telling you guys right now, man, I'm gonna go balls to the wall this year, man. I am going 100 like you guys will not believe. So as you guys can see on the title, we have the best of 2021 top 10 snakes here that we produce at Always Evolving Pythons. Let me tell you, this has been the craziest year for us by far. Well, craziest year for us by far. Um, we made so much stuff. I mean, I was not expecting to do so many holdbacks. I mean, last year we held back 50 to 60 snakes. Right now, we're already, we already held back over 70. I think we'll end up holding back 100 snakes. And it's been crazy, because usually I always go and I'll be purchasing snakes, and the fact that I'm making some next level stuff that no one's making is just freaking ridiculous. And I, I am so excited to show these snakes with you. So, we're gonna start from 10 all the way down to one with which ones were my favorite snakes that I hatched as far as the way they look and as far as power starting right now. So the first thing that I'm gonna show right now, man, is one snake that when it was first hatched, man, I just couldn't believe how pretty this thing came out. This thing does hold some power. It doesn't really show it much, but you'll see. Right here we have a OD Fire Cypress Mojave um, Double Hat Clown Pied. That thing is freaking beautiful. And this right here is a female. And this girl is stacked with jeans, man. I mean, we already know how Cypress clowns already look, but could you imagine the clown version of this right here? That would be ridiculous. And to, I mean, better yet, to have it into pie, I mean, that's gonna be freaking ridiculous. So yeah, so that's number 10 for me on my list. Okay, so nine, it's so funny. I actually posted this yesterday on my Instagram. Right here we have a super orange dream yellow belly, inchy, gene X pied, 100% head clown. And this right here is a male. Yeah, this right here was a total powerhouse, man. And again, definitely a holdback. Obviously, all these 10 snakes that I will be showing you guys are holdbacks, but man, this thing is just screaming out colors, man. It honestly looks fake, you know, just with like the bright oranges and whites that this freaking snake has. So number eight is another pied. And this one right here, not only, I mean, this one's just screams powerhouse to like the max. This is the one that I, was, that I had made a thumbnail. I believe it was called like my lottery snake or I won the lottery in the snake odds. And you guys will see why. So right here we have an orange dream, yellow belly, inchy, pinstripe, Genex pied. That's 100% head desert ghost. I mean, dude, talk about a powerhouse. And this right here is a female. I did make a male that's ODYB, um, inchy, pied, 100% head desert ghost. But look at this right here, guys. This right here is amazing. Talk about a freaking powerhouse, right? This little girl right here, man, I cannot wait till she gets older because by the time she's ready to breed, who knows what male we're gonna have here in the racks. All right, so number seven. Man, see, now I think uh, the rest of them are probably gonna be all clowns. You guys know I'm huge, huge, huge into clowns. But uh, check this out, guys. Right here we have a yellow belly, red stripe, mystic Batman. And look at this, man. It's crazy how crazy of a ringer this uh, female has. But look at that freaking head. That is so freaking awesome. And this is on um, this snake right here, we actually hit almost every freaking combo. We hit the red stripe mystic uh, Batman. We hit the red stripe yellow belly Batman. And then we hit this one that just looked totally different. So that's when we realized that this had to be the mystic red stripe because they looked totally different. And yeah, this thing came out amazing. Again, this is one of my top you know, 10 snakes of 2021. And Turtle, help me with this. Is this number seven? Number seven. Number seven. You're on to number six. All right, let's get to six. All right, number six. Number six actually just shed out a few days ago. Um, he hasn't even gone to his, uh, his own bin yet. But look at this, man. How freaking beautiful is that? I wonder how he's gonna look if I put him right here. Does he like uh, camouflage? No, not at all. His <laughs> head stands out so much, though. It's so, so gray looking. Look at that. So right here, guys, we have a black pastel, blackhead leopard, clown, 100% head hypo, 50% head desert ghost. Could you imagine this thing proves out desert ghost, how much of a powerhouse this thing will be? 
I mean, dude, this thing is freaking beautiful. Can't wait to plug this guy in in 2000, late 2022. That's gonna be freaking off the chains. All right, guys, we are getting close. So number five is actually really crazy and it's moving a lot, but I actually made the Krypton version of this, which is actually gonna be on the top 10 as well, just because I freaking love it. But right here, and I'm gonna have to hold this head down just here because it is going crazy. And I want you guys to get a good look at her. So right here, we have a black pastel Cypress Hypo 100% head clown 50% head desert ghost. This is another one that could you imagine if this thing proves out desert ghost? How amazing is this thing gonna be, man? Imagine the clown desert ghost hypo version of this. That's gonna be some next level stuff right there. Again, we have a black pastel cypress hypo 100% head clown 50% head desert ghost. And look at that, man. This is a female. We just had this a couple of months ago. And look how big they're already getting. That is so freaking cool, right? So like I said, number four is gonna be that same combination, but with Krypton. And that is, that means it's head cryptic, head clown, that makes it this crazy looking snake. And it is going into shed, so you really can't see too much uh, like how bright this thing would be. But again, right here we have a black pastel, cypress, Krypton, hypo, Krypton. So that means it's hypo, and it's head cryptic and head clown. So it's pretty much could be a triple recessive, you know, if we obviously, you know, hit the jeans on this next season. But yeah, this thing is freaking beautiful, man. So it's crazy when you see what the Krypton does. If it wasn't for the hypo, like I've explained before, it really has these strong, like, you know, stripes on its side, kind of makes it look like puzzles. But it, you know, has such a wacky pattern like a clown. I mean, dude, this snake is freaking beautiful. And this right here is a male. Man, I went heavy on the males this season, dude. I can't tell you how much I freaking held back. I mean, I went, I ex yeah, maybe because I just made a lot of crazy stuff, but yeah. All right, guys, so we're on to next top three, but before I show you the top three snakes of 2021, I wanna show a couple of snakes that I just find beautiful. Some of them are just super powerful, and some I just think look freaking amazing. Um, so let's show a couple of these before we get to the top three. This one had to be in shed, um, but I'm still gonna show you guys just cause you kind of still see the colors on it. This right here, I mean, dude, it's not even a, um, a clown or a pied or anything, but check this out. This right here is a GHI Mojave Calico Mandarin Hypo. Look at that. That is a cool looking snake, man. I wish it wasn't in shed so you guys can see how really beautiful this thing is. Yeah, the orange is way brighter. So this next one, man, I just, and I mean, look at this thing. I don't even know what to say. This thing is freaking beautiful. Right here we have a Pewter Freeway Possible Vanilla. Oh, please chill, chill, come on. Dude, you're like I brought you out here, man, the freaking, on the top 10 snakes. But yeah, this snake is really, really pretty, man. Oh, snap, did you see that? They're angry in there. Yeah. yeah. Again, right here we have a pewter freeway, possible vanilla, and this is a female. This next snake right here is a total powerhouse as well. This is a male. Man, the snakes are fighting over there. They're straight going at it. But right here we have a yellow belly desert ghost Krypton. And remember I was talking about the banded lines that it has, how thick they are, that makes it look like a puzzle. And again, you can see that right there and you can see the wacky pattern. Um, we've made the yellow belly desert ghost. But yeah, this thing right here, again, my powerhouse mail that I held back is a yellow belly desert ghost Krypton. So how freaking sick is this, man? Look at this beauty. All right, guys, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost at the top three, man. I hope you guys are getting bored with this. But right here, um, this not top three snake was a very, very powerful snake, man. I can't believe I made this because I actually purchased uh, this morph uh, three years ago, four years ago when it first started from Jessica Velka and it was a Gotham. There, I remember a lot of people were talking crap like, why would you pay that much money on a snake that you could easily make? And I remember telling the person, well, if they were so easy and how come a lot of people ain't making them? You know, cause with Coracle and Bananas, you know, the females are hard to make sometimes. So to make this in the combo, was just, you know, it was a must. And man, look at this. So this right here, again, is a Gotham, which is a coral glow or banana leopard clown. But this is also 100% head sunset. First ones to make them. I'm the first one to make clowns that are 100% head sunsets. And let me tell you guys, we have made an army of these things. I actually have two of these, um, some leopard clowns, and some other stuff that I have hidden in the back, but they didn't make the top 10. Um, again, this one is just an honorable mention. How beautiful is that? All right, the last honorable mentions before we get to the top three, you know, so we have to follow that up. But man, I am so excited about these two balls that I'm holding. Dude, these, I mean, I've been offered some serious 
and I mean serious money for these right here. I just don't know if I'm gonna sell one yet. I kind of want to keep both of them, but uh, check this out, guys. So right here we have some Batmans. And no, they're not chocolate Batmans. I know they're a little dark, they look a little crazy, but that's because these are 100% head sunsets. Dude, it's crazy how far these Batmans have came. I remember one of my favorite snakes that I wanted to make. Um, and now, I mean, I've made some Batman head sunsets, some Batman head desert ghosts. I mean, look at these things, man. But one thing I have noticed with clowns is that the head sunset does influence it big time. And it gives it a nice chocolatey, you know, like G.S. Chai look to it. All my clowns, my clowns that came out from a uh, sunset clown pairing, that are 100% that are head sunset, have this crazy look to them. And like, again, they don't look like normal Batmans. They look like almost if they were to have like black pastel, like some kind of a dark uh, morph in there. You can see it in their heads, man. So freaking crazy. How insane, man. Could you believe that, man? Four years ago, we're going into our fifth year doing this, and I made my first Batmans two years ago, and now I'm making Batmans that are, I mean, world's first Batmans we're making Batman Head Desert Goes, Batman Head Sunsets. I mean, dude, there's so much stuff to do with the Batman, which is, have always been one of my favorite jeans. Big shout out to Justin, man, for, you know, getting me hooked on these bad boys. All right, guys, so it's time to show off the top three snakes from 2021. Before I show the snake, guys, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, if you guys, you know, love these snakes, you have a passion for reptiles, even if you don't, could you guys make sure you guys subscribe and give it a thumbs up, please? And please share it if you could. Remember, thumbs up. Please do me that big favor, man. I want to. Trust me, this year I'm going completely all out, man. Okay, so top three snakes from 2021. Um, you guys remember this one, but look at this guy. Super Orange Dream Fire Clown Pied. Now, the funny thing about this snake is I tried, you know, easier pairings this year before and I didn't even hit no double visual. I literally got this out of a double head pairing. Well, it was a, a visual head to double head. But the other ones should have gave me a few of them, man. But no, I totally missed the odds. But man, to hit a super orange dream, fire, clown pied. Oh my gosh, it's just ridiculous. And this right here, again, is like my top three snake as far as the way it looks. And as far as power over here at Always Evolving Pythons, man. This guy is going to get dialed in so bad in 2000, hopefully late 2022, if not 2023. There's going to be a lot of girls waiting for him, man. And hopefully we can start making some crazy, crazy clown pied combos. This next snake, you're going to be like, man, how come you didn't put this one as number one? Well, I wanted to, but, you know, this is definitely the most expensive snake I've made. Uh, I turned down $70,000 for this one right here. And actually, it was like lucky enough to make a couple of these but uh none other than the sunset clown look at this guys and this right here is our mail i will be doing a vlog on on the sunset project um so you guys can see everything i held back from them we have a total of 20 holdbacks of this season just alone from the sense from sunset clowns i mean we have some clown combos like you guys saw the gotham head sunsets we have some sunset combo head clowns we have double visuals. I mean, dude, in the next couple of years, the Sunset Clown stuff is gonna be ridiculous, man. Again, this right here is a Sunset Clown. Number two snake here from 2021. Let's get another look for just how beautiful it is. This is gold right here. Literally, it looks gold. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for number one? The top snake that we made out here in 2021? All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so the number one snake that, you know, I'm choosing for 2021 is none other than the Stranger Pompeii. I mean, look at this, man. My first freaking uh, pairing, um, my first uh, Stranger Clutch, and I ended up getting this guy. But I wouldn't have gotten uh, this snake right here if it wasn't for the homie Jared from Elevated Exotics, Jared Smith. He had actually, you know, uh, we did a breeding loan with this female. He actually got some pretty cool stuff out of it as well. Um, I was able to grab this bad boy over here and look at this man the stranger Pompeii which is stranger red stripe yellow belly spot nose clown and this thing right here man is freaking phenomenal and the best part about it is that it's a male dude first freaking clutch 
of strangers and this is what I hit man talk about having one of the most powerful stranger combos out here I am really really excited about this snake I can't wait to you know dial them in and put them in with some females the next coming season dude it's gonna be freaking insane man if this the 2021 was this you know awesome for us and so blessed with stuff that we made I can just imagine what 2022 and 2023 is gonna look like I hope all of you guys have a great season this coming season you guys kill it man and just you know keep going at it guys I'm telling you man the wave that we're picking up right now with the ball python and just the whole reptile industry is getting bigger and bigger man so let's all ride it together and kill it man till next time guys we appreciate all the support peace